My apologies for that. Um, we we had a, a small interruption there. Anyway, um, let's let's welcome back again. Welcome back again. Um, welcome back again. Kindly share the broadcast. Uh, share the broadcast again. Share the broadcast again. My apologies. Uh, someone interrupted. Someone interrupted me as I was um, as I was getting down to uh, speak what I was about to to speak. So. So kindly share the broadcast, kindly share the broadcast, share the broadcast wherever you are, uh, share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, take your friends again, tell them I'm back. That was a small interruption. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, may God bless everyone who's watching. God bless you all. Yeah, so as I was saying, we, we are leaving no stone unturned. Uh, we are leaving no stone unturned. Uh, I mentioned something earlier that there is a saying in our language that says, um, once you decide to eat a dog, you must make sure that you go for the pit bull. It's a, it's a saying in our language, but if uh, translated to, uh, if translated to English, it, it simply says, once you make up your mind that you want to consume a dog, then you must go for the pit bull. And that is exactly what I'm doing. That is exactly uh, what I'm doing. I am definitely going for the pit bull. I'm definitely going for the, for the bulldog. And I'm leaving no stone unturned. I'm leaving no stone unturned. Enough of... Uh, you know, enough of everything that is happening in the church, enough of the nonsense that is being done in the name of Jesus, in the name of God, enough of all those things. So, yeah, enough of everything, enough of all that nonsense, enough of everyone uh, who is uh, 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 being used by the devil uh, by disguising themselves as angels of light. I believe that uh, their time has finally come to an end. This season, we are shutting down all the prophetic uh, uh, businesses. This season, we are shutting down the prophetic businesses. We are shutting down uh, all the prophetic uh, 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 entrepreneurships. We are shutting them down. We are shutting down the prophetic industry this season. The industry of the prophetic, uh, 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 the industry of the prophetic the prophetic industry, we are shutting it down this season, we are shutting it down this year, and we are leaving no stone unturned. No matter what may happen, no matter what may happen, this is what uh, we are going to do. I have, uh, 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 I have made it a point that uh, no matter what can come my way, no matter what uh, they can bring a, 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 a on my way. I know right now as we speak, uh, they are scheming, they are scheming and they are planning and they are plotting. They are plotting against me. I've been getting a lot of calls. Yeah, I've been uh, getting a lot of calls um, from, um, from a lot of people. You know, I've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of people. I've been getting a lot of calls from uh, different uh, journalists, you know, um, who've been trying to hear what is it that am I saying? What am I talking about? Some are giving me a heads up, you know, about the conspiracies that are being planned. You know, the conspiracies that are being planned. Uh, somebody told me again that they are planning to uh, bring up some, uh, 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 they are planning to bring up um, some, some rape uh, charges against me. Um, they are planning to, be, uh, to bring up some rape charges against me. Uh, they are trying to pay some women, you know, to set me up, uh, to set me up for rape. But I know that it, it, it is not going to work. It's not going to work. Uh, they are trying to, you know, come up with a lot of things, you know, to uh, set me up for rape, set me up for fraud, set me up for a lot of things they're really trying their best and one of my security guys today 
Um, one of my security guys today told me that he got a heads up from one of his uh, friends uh, from Johannesburg, not from the Jobek church, but uh, one of his friends who's based in Johannesburg called him and said, hey, I know that you are working uh, for this, uh, you're working for this man. Yeah, I've got some information uh, that I have. There are people who have been paid. Uh, there are people who have been paid uh, and uh, they were given your the, the picture of your boss uh, the picture of your boss, the picture of your of your uh, 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 boss's brother, and uh, they are looking for they are looking for you guys. You know, there are people who have been paid to come and you know execute you, to come and take you down, to come and make sure that you don't see uh, the next sunrise. You know, he just told me uh, this information uh, uh, sometime this evening. So I just want to put it on record uh, that. Uh, Whatever that is going to happen to me, then you must know uh, who is responsible. You must know where it is coming from, and you must know uh, who is behind it. And uh, whatever that you're going to see, people trying to say, I saw a lot of fake accounts that they created on Facebook, uh, trying to come up with a lot of funny stories, uh, you know, to lie about a lot of things. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So, yeah, they are they're, 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 they're very busy. They are very busy. They are very busy because they know that they cannot stand on their platforms to defend themselves and to tell the world that Jay Israel is lying. So what they are trying to do now, they are trying to come up with ways and everything so that they can discredit a, 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 me for everything that I've done and everything that I've been doing. So, you know, they are really doing their best. They are having sleepless nights. Uh, day and night, you know, trying to skim and see what is it that we can do, you know, to make sure that J. Israel disappears, you know, from the face of the earth. And I know that there are also some other pastors who are afraid that I'm going to name them in the in the, in, in the in the coming in the, in the coming weeks or in the coming days, you know. So there, there's just a lot of people uh, who are skimming and trying to come up with with uh, with things. So. Uh, the other ones are coming up with uh, fake prophecies to say we saw Jay Israel dying, we saw Jay Israel dying. The other one saying I'm, I saw Jay Israel in a coffin. Uh, the other one even saw my height in the coffin. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it is not going to work. It is not going to work. So it's it's not going to work. Uh, it's definitely not going to work. It's not going to work, and um, yeah, it will not work. So kindly share the broadcast. Share the broadcast, uh, invite as many people as you can invite, because tonight I want to take you through, uh, you know, everything from the beginning, from where it started. Before I take you from the beginning, uh, from where it started, I'm going to take you through uh, some few videos uh, that we are going to watch together, uh, some few videos that we are going to watch together right here uh, on this uh, platform. So just get ready. Uh, just get ready for that. Let me just prepare these videos. Yeah. Let me just prepare these videos uh, so that we can get down to business. I mean business, by the way. I mean business. You can see me uh, 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 posting on Facebook and saying, no, guys, pray for me. It doesn't mean that I'm weak. It doesn't mean that I'm a coward. You know, I know that uh, greater is him that is in me. When I post and I say, guys, pray for me, it will be something that I'll be feeling in my spirit, you know, to just allow everybody to say, guys, uh, please pray for me wherever you are. You know, join me in prayer. Let's pray together. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm a coward. It doesn't mean that I'm chickening out. This is a battle that I chose very well, knowing exactly, you know, what is involved in this kind of battle and knowing very well what uh, these hooligans, you know, they are hooligans. Uh, their thugs, what these thugs are capable of doing. So I know, I know, I know exactly what they are capable of, you know. And by the way, I'm not that kind of, uh, I'm not that kind of pastor uh, who comes out to say things, then the following day they bribe him with money, then he keeps quiet. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not that kind of person. I mean business, you know. I mean business. I really, really mean business. So let's let, let's go. Let, let's just go to the um, let's go to the videos. Let's go to the videos so that we don't waste a lot of time uh, talking stories and everything. Let's just go through the videos. 
I'm going to play uh, some videos here that I have of the of the Johannesburg pastor. Yeah, I'm going to play some videos here of the Joburg pastor. Uh, his name is uh, Pastor Alf Lukau. So I have some videos of him that I want to play here. Uh, these are prophecies that he gave in his church. These are prophecies that he gave in his church and a lot of people. I see that uh, this one that I'm about to play, it, uh, it was watched. It has got about um, 6.2 million views. And, um, you know, a lot of people really believed that this is God speaking, you know, and, um, and this man is really from God. So I have maybe three, four videos that I'm going to watch that I'm going to show you tonight then as we are as we are starting the broadcast so this is the first one this right here is the first video the lord pointed you out and your heart was beating this is the first video you related to the story right your husband want to leave you mm. yes your so husband let me know if you can you. Is that true? Is hear true and see course? well clement uh -huh. Who's Clement? Clement Matisse is my husband. All right. Clement Matisse. Oh, yes. Jesus. That is your husband. Yes. Okay. Your husband want to leave you because he's just tired. He said he's tired. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. This is not the doing of the Lord. Can you imagine how broken this woman is? Yesterday. Did he sleep at home? Uh, no. He didn't sleep at home? Yeah. Because I see you communicated even on, on WhatsApp. At 10 minutes past 9 p.m., he sent you a long message. I am reading, he's saying that I am tired of you. Yes, ma'am. You all are witches in your family. Yes. You have a message. So, yes, yes. as I'm starting on that, um, as I'm starting on this video, this is a prophecy that was given by uh, the man that you see him on the video right there. Okay, I see somebody says, I remember this uh, Clement Mapisa story. Yes, definitely. If you were part of it, you definitely remember this story. Okay. It's a prophecy that was given to this woman. And by the way, this woman is from Zimbabwe. On your phone. Yes. All right. And now the Lord showed me that this man sent a message. Okay. And I saw 10 minutes past night. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to show that in a message. So that somebody will say that, how do you do you? Have you ever spoken to me in your life before? Do you know me? Have you ever no, spoken to this me? This is my first time to be here. This is your first time? Wow. Yes. I yeah. come here because last week I dream you, men of God, prophesy me in this church, and you said to me, your past is over. I want to deliver. So um, it, looks, it, looks, it looks very much believable. It looks very much believable. And this lady is from Zimbabwe. She's not from South Africa. And uh, this, 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 it looks very much believable if you are watching it from wherever you are watching it without really an understanding of knowing what really uh, is happening uh, in this place. You might even, you know, believe that, oh no, this is, this is the truth. This is the truth. So this is a woman who was having a, a quarrel with her, with her husband. As she was having a quarrel with the husband, she went to church. And then the so-called men of God picked, uh, picked it out and said, come forward, uh, I want to pray for you. Uh, you're having a problem with your, with your husband. And apparently the husband followed uh, 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 the wife to church. And now the man of God is busy yeah. looking yeah. for the husband. Now he's looking for the husband yeah. in the church yeah. where he yeah. was working as a spy following the wife. Can I see that woman? Ha! Woman, is this your husband? Is this your husband? Yes, he's my husband's family. She has confirmed that this is indeed her husband. I don't know what to say. I'm just in shock at how God, through his servant, was able to prophetically reveal his date of birth, what he was wearing. Did you see the assurance that Pastor Alf had as he was searching for Clement? I can't hear you, I am I. So now the husband has been found. Um, the husband has been found apparently, and the husband is now going to the front. Let's, let's just have a look. Don't catch me. 
Baba, you are too much. Because I was thinking that is soon after this service. I was going to divorce here completely. Mm. If you didn't say anything to this wife, meaning that today, that was the end of the road. Hey, come, come close. Please come. Beloved, his tone tells us that he's willing to mend things. We're fixing things today. We thank God that the prophetic will play a role in restoring their union. She has done okay. you no wrong. She, she did not bring it upon herself that she may not have a child. All right. You see, what is up? There is a woman. Uh, both, I mean, as you can hear their accent, the, the, the woman is from Zimbabwe. Their husband is also from Zimbabwe. You can hear their accent. You know, these two, they were picked up in church, prophesied. This is just to make people in church believe, you know. This is just to make people in church believe that this is a true man of God. He's really called by God. You know, he's really being used by God. So I'm, I'm starting from this, uh, uh, from, 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 from uh, uh, these videos as we are, you know, moving slowly but surely uh, uh, getting to the, to the Elliot uh, resurrection uh, thing that took place, which is the main reason why I am, you know, live tonight to talk about Elliot. But I'm starting from this area. So if, if you go there, the, the, the video has got six point... Um, the video has got six point something million uh, uh, views, you know, uh, six point something million views, according to what I'm seeing here on YouTube. So that, that's as close to six point something million people who were deceived into thinking that, uh, you know, this, this is a true man of God and his prophecies are real. But let me tell you, the woman was paid 1,500 rand, this woman here. She was paid 1,500 rand together with the man. The man was also paid 1,500 rand. If you look for these people right now, if you look for them, you realize that it is actually a lie. So somebody will say, no, but why are you accusing and, and why are you accusing them and stuff? You know, um, I have, I have a, 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 some pictures, you know, in my, in my tablet. I have some pictures that I'm going to be showing you in a bit. Uh, pictures of who these people, you know, um, who they really are, you know. So uh, th this this was just a, you know, this was just a, a nonsense uh, thing, you know, that was done in church, you know, claiming that uh, this is God speaking. Then this is the second one that also went viral. Uh, those, those so that that woman and the that woman and the and and the man they were both paid. Uh, 1,500 rand each uh, to go and do that acting in the church, you know, that acting. And after they did it well, I'm sure some money were, you know, some money was added on top. Maybe a 1,000 or 2,000 rand was added on top. Because whenever such action happens in church and then he's happy, I'm talking about Alf Lukao, when he's happy, he puts money on top and stuff. So I'm going to take you slowly but surely and I'll bring you to, even to the videos uh, that I personally uh, 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 was the one, you know, who was working together with him uh, when he was not in church. Uh, uh, he was abroad and then he, he asked me, please bring some people from me to church, you know. So everything is there, unfortunately. And uh, let, let's have a look at this one. This is a man who was accused of uh, being an occultic man. Your very soul. In a quest to here. find a solution to his burden of financial constraints and life's difficulties, a gentleman finds himself in an occult way he sheds innocent blood for wealth. Within this occult, he is instructed by his master to kill his only son. But we only have one master, and his name is Jesus Christ. Whom... By the way, as we are watching this video, I want you to bear in mind again. I want you to bear in mind that this guy again was about to be prophesied here is also from Zimbabwe. Listen to the accent, you'll hear that this guy is also from Zimbabwe. So, yeah. As Lord and Savior, watch and be blessed. Walking between the crowd, Pastor Arthur suddenly stopped by a desperate man who fears for his life. He even saw it fit to interrupt the man of God. Save you from what? What kind of trouble could he be facing? Who want to kill you? My master's family. Wait, My... what is going on here? His oh. master's They want to kill me. Who want to kill you? My master's want to terminate my life. 
your masters want to terminate your life. They require that I sacrifice my son. Oh my goodness. What has he gotten himself into? Beloved, when you see a grown, mature gentleman uh, 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 So this guy, um, this guy that you see here, this guy that you see here is someone who was... Um, a, I remember there's a, there's, a, there's a friend of mine, a very close guy that I used to be friends with. The wife of that friend of mine, we were sons together at this church. We were sons of this man together in Jobek. And then after this prophecy was made, you know, because I knew the drill and I knew everything that was happening, but my friend didn't know. So he came to me. His name is, uh, you know, let me not mention his name. He came to me and he said, ah, Jay, you know, my wife, uh, when we got home, my wife said to me, um, he knows the guy who was prophesied today that, you know, he killed 400 people. Remember, his masters want to kill him. The guy is actually very broke, you know. He's a very broke guy. He got back to the, to the apartment, you know, and then um, uh, my wife works with uh, this guy's friend. My, wi uh, my, wife's, uh, my wife works with this guy's friend, you know. So then I, I was, because I knew what was happening, I just said, oh, no, don't worry, you know, you know, don't leave. Then my friend actually left, actually left. He was a son also here. Then after this, he was having marital issues with the wife and stuff. So they left. They left the man. Then they left me submitting there as a son. So let's continue watching the video. I understand to a certain degree the magnitude of his grief. I mean, this is an urgent matter of life and death. But who are these masters threatening him? The devil is just cruel. Look at him. He looks frightened beyond words. Your masters, they want you to sacrifice your son. Yes, sir. Explain to me. What are you talking about? How did you get to have a master? And who is this master? It was in 2016, after I had uh, broken up with my wife. I happened to go on a very terrible amount, uh, drinking spree, binging, uh, prostituting, doing everything possible. Uh, it is during one of those nights that I encountered a gentleman um, by the name of Gerald Mapasa. Gerald and I clicked... Um, from that day and Gerald did everything so I kind of like uh, thought I was going to fall back on him since I was suffering maybe he could also play a part in my life maybe try and uplift me okay. from what I was going through I asked him to help me out uh, set up a business for myself and he told me that he could do that but then uh, it took a lot of sacrifice for it to happen. I just took it as something that was lightly being said. I didn't know. Um, so the the guy is, is trying to explain um, what what happened, you know, um, how he how he was initiated, and then they then during his initiation process, uh, they asked him to kill about four hundred people and stuff like that. So let's let me just fast forward a bit so that we can uh, get to it. Save me. They want to kill Okay. You see what is happening now? Oh, Jesus. You as a pastor kill my, my child, my okay. son. Yes. What is happening? How did you end up here? Right. It's not Alberton. What is Oops. My apologies, my WhatsApp uh, keep popping up up there, but it's fine. No, Gerald was just uh, the first guy who introduced me to the main guys. My master is in Australia. So everything that this guy is saying is a lie. He here or he lives there? He comes when I want him. He comes when you want him? Yes, sir. Meaning that uh, he flies to come to you or he appears? He appears to me. He appears to you? Yes, sir. Now, so it is your master. Ah, I see. Through the eyes of the spirit, pastor, I've seized this man. Okay, so is, Smith. now now he's prophesying. Is he's, he's, now he's prophesying to the man. Is he afraid? Now he is prophesying to the man. I can't talk about him. He might kill me now. Does this man know where he is? is it's he very dramatic. Uh, it's very dramatic and... Uh, if you are very naive, you will believe this. If you talk about him, he will kill you now. Okay. Then you do not know me. Clearly not. If he could see what's good, he would understand that God has not placed a new man before him. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the name of the man is uh, Rudy Smith. Go on Facebook, go on Twitter, go on... Uh, anyway, if this man is a master and is really, you know, a wealthy person who gives people wealth and everything, you know, um, you, you'll find these people on the internet. These people don't exist. Rudy Smith don't exist. This guy, his name doesn't exist anyway. It's a stage name that he's using. Everything that you see here is an act. Everything that you are seeing here actually is an egg. This is a movie, you know. This is a movie that you are watching. So everybody who goes to this church uh, to sit down and, you know, clapping for such things, you, know, you must know that you are watching a movie. This is a movie you are going. So when I talk about theatrics that are happening in the church, it's, it's things like this. Now I'll tell you why I'm saying this guy that you are seeing Your here. Mentor. Yes, sir. Let's continue watching. Your mentor is Rudy Smith. Yes, sir. Okay. The Bible says that the people who know their God shall be strong. Witness the boldness of Pastor If you, if you saw, there's a guy who's doing this. He's wearing a white jacket and he's doing this. He's right here right now. He's watching together with us. There's a guy who was, who was holding a microphone for this man. He's wearing a white blazer. Just, you know, let me, let me just rewind so that you may see him. Why did you come? What happened is that there is a particular moment in time. Okay. Yes, your mentor is Rudy the guy wearing a white blazer behind uh, the pastor the there. Aha, the uh -huh, that one there. The right. The guy was doing this at the back. His name is David Sean. He's watching right now. And he, he, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. And he knows. Uh, he knows that, uh, he knows that uh, everything that was happening here was fake. David Sean, kindly comment if I'm lying about what I'm saying right here. Kindly comment. He knows what I'm talking about right now. So anyway, um, this guy was given a prophecy. They told him that you killed uh, four, four, 400 or so people. Then you are, you know, you were supposed to... Be. Anyway, let, let's, let's just try to see what, what happens next. Why did you... Oh, our breath, beloved, if God be for his servant, which small satanic agent can win? It's impossible. What therefore happened after that is that... Uh... The meeting was immediately adjourned. Everyone left, and I was left sitting all alone. I didn't know what I'd done or what pattern I had pressed. But after much deliberation, I took it upon myself to ask Gerard exactly what wrong I had said. And he happened to tell me that one of um, grandmasters tried it before to come to your church. <laughs> So now, it's, it's everything that you see here, everything that you are watching right now on this video, it was rehearsed the day before this service in a house uh, that is there in Jobek in a, in a place called Lindhurst. There's a house in Lindhurst where all these actors go before service, probably a day before service um, or the day after service, they go there and then they, sorry, sorry, the day before service, not after, they go there. They do this rehearsals, then they give you your story. This is how you are going to say it. This is what you are going to say. This is what you are going to say. This is what you are going to say. So this guy is actually Zimbabwean, and it it makes it makes my heart even break the most, you know, to see my my fellow um, my fellow Zimbabwean brothers, you know, being used um, for such skits like this, you know, in church. And after such skits are performed in church. Uh, these guys are given chicken change. You can see that the suit he's wearing, this guy can't afford a suit. He can't afford anything that he's wearing. Everything was bought for him. It, it, was, it was actually brand new, just like the Elliot suit. It was a brand new suit. So he can't afford this. Everything was given to him, you know. Uh, everything was given to him. And then afterwards, he got paid, you know, an amount that is less than uh, 5,000 rands an amount that is less than 5,000 rands that he received. And then afterwards, that was it. You know, he was, uh, you know, damned just like that. So to all those who are watching from Zimbabwe, if you know this guy, go and sit down with him. I got a call from one journalist in Zimbabwe and he said, I want to do a story. 
I want to do a story about uh, the guy whom Pastor Alf said he prayed for, and then the guy was uh, the guy killed about four hundred people. I got a message, and then the guy said, "I'm about to publish the story." So I spoke to him and I said, "Please don't, please don't do it." You know. So let, 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 let's go. There, there's there's a lot of videos, but I'll show you just you know uh, two or three. Then this one is the most uh, you know. This one is the one that really. Uh, <laughs> Is the one that really, you know, um... Jesus. Okay. There, there is somebody here. Now, look at this. You're a pastor. Your name is Shadrach. They call you Pastor Shadrach. You are here, Pastor Shadrach. You are a general overseer. The General Overseer of Grace Ministries in Tokoza. In Tokoza. Pastor Shadrach, if you are here, not if, please come, Pastor Shadrach. Glory. This man of God is Glory described in detail. Jesus. This always blows my mind. So there's a pastor who was said, your name is Pastor Shadrach. Come forward. Now listen to the storyline. Listen to the storyline. And he works through the vessel. And when, when you listen to the storyline, at the end of the day, the storyline is always to make the men of God look powerful. The storyline is always to make the men of God look very powerful, look more powerful than ever, get more people to church, get more people to give money, get more people to uh, uh, sow seeds, get more people to bring money to church, get more people to pay their tithes, get more people to do a lot of things. So let's, let's have a look at this guy. Let's just fast forward. In the name Pastor, General Overseer, there you go. things are not as they're supposed to be for you. They are not. They are not. They are not moving. Do you know Rosemary? Yes. All those She's names. Not. There is My no wife. name like that. Rosemary is your wife. Yes. The name doesn't she, exist. The name is an act. Separated. You separated. Yes. Rosemary separated with you. How many children do you have? Four. You have four children. Yes. With Rosemary. Yes. Four children. This is a general overseer of a ministry here in Johannesburg in South Africa, Tokoza. His ministry is called Grace Ministries. Is, am I right? Yes, you are right. Oh, his name is Pastor Shadrach. It's the first time that he's here. The now, Spirit of the Lord. Now listen to that. The name is Pastor Shadrach. Okay? And the name of the church is, uh, I think it's Grace International in a place called, uh, called Togoza. If you are in Johannesburg, look for a place called Togoza. Go to Togoza in Jobek. Ask if there's a church called Grace International that is being led by a pastor called Pastor Shadrach. If you are here in uh, 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 Johannesburg, if you're in South Africa, go to this township called Togoza. Ask if there's a church called... Uh, 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 if there's a church called um, Grace International, led by this guy called Pastor Shadrach. This is just a guy who was picked from the, you know, from, from Uvel. They picked him from Uvel, dressed him up nicely. You know, they, he's even, if you look at his head, I mean, he's got a clean shave and everything. He's got a clean shave. Um, sorry. He's got a clean shave. Uh, you can see that they really prepared him for a moment like this. You know, they really, really prepared him for the for a time like this. You should bring him in before even going back to the pulpit. There, you should bring him. I am doing something okay. in his life. Glory to Jesus. I have to do something. If God doesn't do thing, what he wanna do now? Things will be difficult. Yeah. Now, let me have. Can I speak to you? Yes, you can. Can I speak into your life? Yes. 
Will you speak back to me? I will. You have to. I promise. Because I can see the picture now. So keep watching and see what happens. Life through prophecy. God knows you and everything concerning you. Pastor, born on the 21st of July, because I see blessing, born on the 21st of August. That's my son. That's your son? Yes. Blessing was born on the 21st of August, 1998. Yes. You were born on the 21st of July. Is that correct? That's true. Your wife was born on the 3rd of May, 1980. That's true. Her name is Rosemary. Yes. And true. Rosemary, you say, left you. Yes. You brought it upon yourself. Okay, now listen to what happened. Right on, the second one, born on the 4th of June. 2001, is that correct? That's true. The third one, Brian, is that correct? Amen. Amen? Yes. Brian born on the 4th of May, 2004, is that correct? That's true. I'm seeing Ayanda. Do you know Ayanda? Yes. Who's Ayanda? It's my daughter. Ayanda, your daughter, was born on the 26th of December, 2006. Is that your family? Yes, that's my family. My name is Aflu Kau. You cannot deny that he's mightily used in the prophetic. Right. I see somebody called Bishop Koza just commented right now as, a, as I'm live. He just commented and said, I know the guy. He says, it's, his name is Bishop Koza, Bishop Koza. He says, no church at Togoza called Grace. And also, I know this guy from Uvel in Johannesburg. I see that. I'm seeing that comment there. That, that's a pastor who's commenting. I don't know that pastor, but I'm seeing that uh, his name is Bishop uh, Koza in this comment. Right now, so. as I speak to you, God is about to turn your life around. Thank you, good. Jesus. Amen. But you see, as I say, the reason why nothing is happening is because you have caused it. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's true. What did you do? I was speaking bad about you. <laughs> First and foremost, I command Pastor Sherry. <laughs> now you get the story. <laughs> so everything that happened to him happened because he was speaking bad about the man of God. Anyway, let's hear the let's just hear the end of it. Battles upon us. Let's hear the end of it. Touch the anointed, the very apple of God's eye. Remember, when you slander or speak ill of the man of God, you're speaking ill against God Himself. Too much of God is invested inside of His servants for Him to allow you to disrespect them. But Shadrach has come in peace, and God Himself will remove the curse that this man has attracted into His own life. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Okay. Look, I, I didn't know what you did in the teacher. I knew that you brought it upon your son. Yeah. So, you, what did you do? I was spreading rumors that you are a fake prophet. <laughs> so now you can see... <laughs> you can see uh, that... Uh, this guy is saying that I was spreading rumors about you that you are a fake prophet. That is why I lost my wife and I lost my house. I lost everything. You know, let's hear what's, well, you know, uh, what happens next. Let's hear what happens next. Passion for a lack of knowledge and jealousy, <laughs> but it is why. You're a pastor like me. You're a general overseer of your own ministry, grace ministries. Yes. What did I do to you? Nothing. It was just the miracles you were doing didn't look so real. They looked like magic or... You know. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I didn't do anything to you, but you say miracles you saw me doing or you saw God doing through me did not look real to you. Yes. It looked like magic. Yes. But then... I had a dream okay. in May. I dreamt of this guy who was driving a white car. He brought a picture of you. And he said, leave this man alone. But I just thought it was... 
So, so the, the, this is an act. This is an act, guys. Uh, this is an act, you know. God is my witness. There's nothing like that. There is nothing like that. It doesn't exist. It has never happened. It will never exist. It is all an act. It's all an act. Okay. Let me give you this Can one you again. A different one. Now, this one I'm about to give you now. No, so the previous ones I was showing you, those are all people who are paid. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds of all those, you know, of people who are paid to come and act. Then the one I'm about to show you now is a different scenario altogether. And this one will actually uh, resonate with a lot of people who have been to this church who are actually watching right now. Bless you, Jesus. Now, look at this. God bless you. Is your time. Come, 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 come. God has remembered her amongst the thousands seated here. Today is her day. Now watch where she's sitting. We identify her as an international visitor. Lord knows how okay. she flew to the Jesus. You look at yourself and say, this is just too much. But today God has remembered you. And he's doing something new in your I life. Was saved. Now, this is a white lady who's receiving a prophecy. You are here in this moment to you. Something. There is something that God is doing. You're feeling it inside you. Only God knows it. I am reading. Yes. I knew it before I read, but I'm reading. Yes. Uda Elmira. Yes. You see, I am reading. Reading in the physical, I say I knew it that was in the spiritual, but now I'm reading in the physical. It's you. It's like you, 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 you were Muslim before. The family is yes. a Muslim family. Yes. Where are you from right now? I live right now in Switzerland. So she came all the way from Switzerland. Yeah. Lebanese. Lebanese, where I was born, where, you were where born, my family You were Lebanese, yes. but you live in Switzerland. Yes. The, the Lord is saying, the tears that you're crying now will be wiped, and you'll never cry the same Thank tears. You, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look, look you, you, I am seeing your spirit is so strong that the only way they could ever pull you down is spiritually cursing you. Already growing up, there are many things. I'm talking about you in Lebanon. You know, uh, a number of things that could not go with you. Right. Were you ever married? I'm talking about 16 years. I was. But that was not really a marriage, right? Exactly. It was an, an arranged marriage. Now, I want, you to, I want you to look at something very different. When he approached the guys that he pays, or rather when he approaches the guy... Uh, when he approaches the guys that are paid, he goes there with clarity. He doesn't ask them all these questions. You know, like, uh, uh, were you married uh, maybe 16 years ago? Is it, you know, he, he doesn't go like that. He goes straight, you know, on the dot. He says, your name is this. You're born on this. You came from this place. Why? Because they are paid. But this woman was not paid. This woman, innocently, she came from Switzerland and she was not paid. She was never paid. But here's what happens. In the church, there's a woman called um, there's a woman called Totliso. There's a woman called um, Shalim. There is a guy called Pastor Ben. There is a, 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 a there is another one uh, uh, called um, a Brenda. A, there, 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 there's a whole crew. There's uh, Bosi. There's uh, uh, even uh, Jackie, uh, Bishop Jackie. Uh, th there's a lot. So this is what happens. When they receive these international visitors, like this lady who came from Switzerland, when they receive them in a, a, a Johannesburg in South Africa, it is their assignment, those who, are, those who receive these people, they take good care of them, they drive them around, and as they are driving them around, as they are driving them around, they'll be asking questions. So, where are you coming from? So, what's your name? Oh, it's good to see you. How is your family? Oh, do, are you married? So, these people will be... Uh, um, these people will be just, you know, uh, pouring out, you know, without any reservations. Why? Because 
they, they, they are so happy and excited to be in this place and they are meeting these people who are so hospitable, you know, they are so nice, they are talking to them nicely, they are talking to them well and, you, you know, so, so they, 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 you know, they don't suspect anything. So they pour out all this information that he's mentioning here. These are things that he was told. So before the service, these guys who gather information from these people, they go to, to his office. And uh, yeah, there's uh, Minister Lerato as well. Minister Lerato is part of the information people who go around the church gathering people, gathering information. So before the service, if you go to AMI, you understand that uh, you'll see Minister Lerato, uh, Lerato or you'll see Busi uh, coming into the church. They'll start taking pictures just before the service, during the praise and worship time. What are they doing? They are locating all the people that they got information from so that they can send it to the man in his office as he's preparing for the service. He'll be watching the service from his office before he gets down. So before he goes down to the service, he'll be watching the service from, uh, 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 from his office. So they bring the information to him. Then he goes down. He writes everything on his tablet. Then by the time he, go, he goes down, he knows who he's going to prophesy to. So whether you like it or not, if you have not been interviewed, if you have not spoken to anybody, at times some of these people will just invite you randomly and you don't know that you're being invited so that they can come and prophesy you in church. <laughs> You know, so so this is what happened uh, to this um, to this white woman. L let's watch and see what happens next. Tell me about that. My parents wanted me to be together with a man. I, although they are very religious, he was not a non-believer, and he just yeah asked for my hand, and they wanted me to marry him. Yes, you were under a spell. Yes. You did not understand yes. how is it. That yes. I want to sign to be so I want you to yes. I want you to look at something when when he prophesies to people who's uh, where their information has been given to him like this lady he doesn't go too deep he's, he's just shallow he doesn't go too deep unless on that day maybe Lerato or Totliso or some of these people who gather information for him in church unless on that day they sat down really with somebody and they were counseling the person because they do counseling sessions okay um they do uh, 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 uh they do counseling sessions so during counseling sessions especially for those who are from local who are, who are from local from Joburg, from so they, they they come during this uh, during the week they counsel them they sit them uh, down they counsel them they talk to them then they pour out then they say no we are going to pray with you then during the week your counselor will call you and say are you coming to church on friday if you confirm, the, your counselor will tell you, I'm going to give you a seat when you come. So when you come, they'll give you a seat. Why? So that they know where you are sitting. Then they'll go and tell the man up there that this one is sitting there, go and prophesy. So the, it, it, it's a system. There's a lot of people who are involved in, you know, in, 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 in this thing. There are people who are brought in and they are paid just to come and fake prophecies. And those fake prophecies, they are very deep like the ones I was showing you before, you can see that even his confidence, you know, he's very confident that what he's saying is true. But with these ones now, because it's information that is being given to him, he's also not sure whether he should, um, you know, whether he should go deeper or whether, because there's no way to go. There's no deeper you can go. You can go as deep as uh, uh, what they have, he can go as deep as what they have told him. So the, 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 there's a lot of them. There's, there's, there's a lot of them a lot. There's some that came from Iran, uh, some that came from, um, you know, different countries. Uh, the IVP ones, the those who come from uh, outside the country, they are interviewed, the information is gathered, they send it to him. Then others, they, you know, they buy them and they prophesy to them. So let's see. Let's see what happens next. Oh my God. This is going to be this is going to be a long one. But anyway, God is good. So there's uh, a prophecy of a hairdresser, the pastor who spread rumors. Uh, then there's this one that says never seen Today before. I'll teach you how to name the high five. Uh, never seen before. Pastor Alf Lukao gives a man a wife right in church. Let's go to that one. So I I I'm, I'm just I just want to take you slowly, you know, just stay where you are. I just want to take you slowly. Let's let's move together, okay? Let's move together. I want to take you slowly but surely so that you may understand 
that I'm not doing this to destroy a man, I'm not doing this to fight a man, but I'm doing this to open the eyes of God's people uh, who are being deceived blindly. And also for the men, also, you know, uh, the men in question to repent. I want him to repent. I want him to stop what he's doing. I want him to, you know, to, 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 to stop these things, you know, that he's doing because this, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. So on this particular day, we were actual, I was actually, uh, uh, um, a, a, let's have a look at this. On this particular day, I was there in church. On this particular day, I was there in church. That mean you gentlemen come here. Exactly. Okay. Simply remain an unhappy union. Really but imagine coming to the house of God, a single man or woman, trusting God for a spouse, but not leaving alone. Beloved, watch how the prophetic plays a role in the establishment of a new relationship. Be pleased. Come, you come, come. You're looking at me. You gentlemen, come here. Exactly. Okay. So the you man has been located. Him. You are happy for him. God is happy for you. Amen. Okay, 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 it's okay. You are looking and checking me. Hey, which manner of man is this? Ha! That can speak in this manner. He's a facilitator. God could have chosen anyone, but lucky was located. Facilitator of your miracle. My name. What is your name? Lucky Alex. You are lucky Alex. Yes. But I won't say that you are lucky today, you know. <laughs> this is not luck. This is blessing. blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. You are favored today. Oh. Amen. Amen. Look at this. Are you working? Yes. Where do you work? At Alberton. You work at Alberton? Yes. What's your position? What do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm acting as a, as a supervisor. We are selling houses. All right. Okay. So, so let's fast forward. you fine, isn't it? I'm stuck. Yeah, I can get... I'm even seeing that the family is putting you under pressure and saying that uh, when will you stabilize? Is yeah, that true? That's true, man of God. Because I'm the first born, so I was supposed to get married first. It was my, I got my four young brothers. So they are waiting for me to get married first. So your young brothers are waiting for you to get married before they get married? Yeah, uh, according to our culture. Not, according uh, to the culture? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see. Very interesting culture. <laughs> Family, I don't think his brothers will have to wait long. But you, you say you, you're ready because your wife, I think your wife is here today. Beloved, this prophecy just took an Now look at that. Uh, this man went to church and uh, he claims that he's not married, you know. Uh, so now the, apparently the wife is also in church and they're about to be connected together with the wife. <laughs> this is, this is Nollywood. <laughs> so we lost the uncle Gage right now. I'm lost for words. This has never happened before. Oh no, no, my no, no, goodness, no, 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 where no, is she no, no, seated? No, no, no. Family, he's so excited. He's already begun looking. Your wife is here today. This is a different aspect of the prophetic. I'm waiting, Pastor. Do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Is there anybody that you love, you're seeing from far, you like? Hmm? Uh, no, no, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you say you've been here for one year. Is there any beautiful uh, soul that you have spotted on the corridors? Yeah, but... <laughs> hmm? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. But just choose for me, Pastor. I'm if you trust the prophetic, you can't... I mean, he, he sells everything out now. He says, Pastor, please choose for me. Ah, Jesus. Why would a pastor choose for you? <laughs> anyway, let's watch and see. This is very interesting. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Not everybody who want to get married, the, the wife or their husband, uh, he's here. Uh, but yours is here. Amen. Woo. There is a lady that has been praying for seven days fasting. Oh Jesus! Now listen this to lady has now. no child and saying that the time is passing. A lie is being oh, put God. there. And the Lord is telling me, you are the answer to that prayer. Oh, I love it. There's no prayer that is too small. Oh, exactly. do, 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 do you see? Do you see the the amazement in people's eyes, the shock in their eyes when they look at these things in church? 
They're like, wow, this is amazing. This man, the way he looks, the way he dresses, he looks so professional. He can't do, you know, you can't even, um, you can't suspect him of anything, you know, uh, uh, like what I'm saying right here. Because of the way he looks, the way he talks, you know, he's so smooth, you know, he's got a charm. When he stands there, you know, you, you know he, he has that, you know, that je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that's an English word or it's a it's a French word. I don't know. But but look at this. You know, um, everyone is, is surprised in church and everyone is shocked. Now look at that. Can I find her for you? Amen. Can I find her for you? Amen. Can I find her for you? Amen. 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 There is so much anticipation and curiosity from the saints. This is a divine connection. All right. All right. All right. Everybody lifts your hand. Not for marriage, just lift it for blessing. <laughs> that, that, that you may know that God loves us. Amen. And everything about us is connected. Yes. It, that's how God operates. It draws you always closer to your miracle. Amen. Some of you are looking for your miracle far, but your miracle is close. Yes. Yeah. It may have come from far, but now it's close. Anyway, fast forward, so fast forward. Is, now we are going to look for the wife. This moment would have not been possible. Now the man of God is looking for the wife now. Walking slowly and looking Sometimes. intently about the crowd. Pastor Alf <laughs> searches for this woman. Where could she be? God is not a man that he oh, made yes. like. Pastor Alf heard directly and clearly from God mm. that Alex's future wife is here. If God said it, family, we believe it and that mm. settles it. He's looking for the wife now. He's looking for the wife now, you know. Now he's moving around and looking for the wife. And he's praying a lot. He's in the spirit. <laughs> Somebody, your miracle will locate you. Okay. I receive it's location time. Mm. You see, church is pegged. Is coming to you. Somebody church is pegged. You will not leave this place without your breakthrough. Not under this anointing. Have faith. I put my confidence alone. He's looking but for it. stops on this particular staircase. And I'm beginning ah, to wonder. This man is a good actor. <laughs> see what he's doing. My name is Afro Kau. There you go. God's oracle, the facilitator of your miracle. Oh, yeah. God has answered you. Okay. Hey. Now the wife has been found here. God has answered you. <laughs> you fasted for seven days. Beloved, this is the woman. Glory to God. Oh my goodness, she is so overwhelmed. Her prayers did not fall in death. I see gratitude all over her countenance. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Pastor Alf walked to the exact place where she was seated. Family, the prophetic baffles me. We cannot figure it out. Wow, I don't know what words to utter to God for his goodness, for his grace. Father, I thank you. This is just mind-blowing. Seven days prayer. Now the wife is in fun. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. Oh Lord, now the wife has been found, you know. The wife has been found and uh, the wife has been found. They were joined together apparently, you know, but that, that, that was all staged. That was all staged. That was all fake. Uh, those people, they knew each other already, you know, <laughs> so... Uh, they were all paid, you know, just to go and, you know, set up that kind of uh, play. So you can see that in that video, he says, oh, you've been here for close to a year. That's a lie because he knows that the church is big. So there's no way that you can know whether someone has been there for a year or has been there for a day because he was trying to, he was trying to change the script. 
Because a lot of people were saying, no, why do you only prophesy to first-timers? Why do you only pro uh, prophesy to people who came for the first time? Why is it you only prophesy to people who are here for the, uh, for the very first time? So he has to change. You know, it's tricks. You know, he has to change the tricks from time to time. This is the biggest trickster that I've ever met in my entire life. You know, I, I regret meeting uh, such people. But anyway, because of the journey that God wanted me to take, I believe I had to meet them at some point. So let's, let's have a look at this one. Then after this, we're going straight to the Elliot. So ye kaya tata yika zaza. Mere kai baso takalama aza. Kele babo shit. There's a prophet there. Zai manda kali yato. Another so prophet. Kali yata yata. Kele baba sata. My Jesus. My Jesus. Your glory is in this place. Yes. Your undiluted power is in this place. So now look at Your this presence. one. This guy, to those who remember this, uh, this service, unfortunately, they, 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 they pulled down all my videos uh, that they ever uploaded uh, on their channel for me. They pulled all of them down. You can't find them on, on, on their YouTube channel. They are nowhere to be found, you know. So anyway, it's fine. But on this day, this guy prophesied and I also prophesied. So we went to the third floor together. We went to the third floor together, me and this guy. He was sitting next to me at the third floor before the service started. And then he went to the office first, and I knew that he's going to get, you know, the information to go and lie to people, you know. And then I also got in there, um, you know, got uh, also information as well to go and, 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 and do my own lie, you know. So this guy comes out, acts as if he's hearing from God, acts as if, you know, he's in the spirit. But today I want more. Listen to what he says. Not only have I located you, but from today, I want you to become my location. Wherever in your family they will look for me, they will go to you. Okay. You are becoming my location. No. Say, I can't hear you. Someone. If you have not decided yet. We, we don't want to hear that. Are you here? Come. Okay. There's a prophet. Glory to Jesus. God of my father, God of my Jesus. father. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody's receiving you to receive. I receive. As are you. Hallelujah. That's the power. This is God. the presence of God. Yes. The power of God. The power of God. Something is happening in you. Allow her. Allow her. Something, allow is, her. Something, Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. My Jesus. God of my Sometime, father. Sometimes, unless you want it this way, okay. you will not get it. Yes. Are you from Cameroon? Yes. Do, do, do you know him? Have you ever spoken before? I don't know you. You don't know him? Do you know, know her? I don't know her. I, I, Glory to Jesus. My pass is over. Something is happening. Look at it. She's saying, My pass is over. Hallelujah. Are you Catherine? Are you Catherine? I've traveled almost everywhere in Africa except Cameroon. Are you from Cameroon, right? I'm from Cameroon. August 17, 1977. <laughs> What just happened here? Somebody! <laughs> anyway, um, as, as you can see, that's, this is a guy, very innocent guy. Uh, and this is what these guys are told, okay? This is what these guys are told. These guys are told that... Um, now, probably, I think this guy's from Congo, if I'm not mistaken. He's, he's not from Zimbabwe, the one who was prophesying. The lady is actually from Cameroon. The lady came... Uh, the lady actually came for the International Visitors Program, paid everything just to come and attend. Her information was taken, given to the pastor. Then the pastor, because, he, you know, he has his people, you know, that he calls to say, I want to mentor you in the prophetic. I want you to prophesy like me, you know. So this guy was one of them. He called him up to his office. Uh, he called him up to his office, and then he said, okay. 
you know, as a prophet, if you can't hear God for yourself, if you are my son, I can hear God for you. That's the lie that they are told, you know. Uh, even if you look at the video of the bishops, when they were prophesying one after the other, one after the other, those people can prophesy, all of them. Bishop Shepard Gwenzi, uh, Bishop uh, uh, Jackie, Bishop uh, TK, uh, Bishop who, who, who else is there? A, a bishop, um, if, if you go back and revisit their prophecies, you'll see that their prophecies were different, you know. Now, because a, 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 there's a woman, a, there's a woman, her name is Pastor Naomi. Because Pastor Naomi is one of the financiers of the church, she's, she's not allowed to, a, 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 to be part of this kind of lie, of, especially of the prophetic. So the day that the bishops were given microphones to prophesy, to everyone who was in that church, who will remember what I'm saying. The day bishops were given microphone to prophesy in that church, the uh, Bishop TK prophesied names and prophesied this, Bishop Jackie prophesied names, Bishop Shepard, uh, Bishop Mike Songiso was also there, he also prophesied names and stuff. But when Naomi, uh, uh, Pastor Naomi was given a, a, a microphone, she did not prophesy any names. Because they told her that, no, just speak whatever you feel, you know, because she's not part of that lie. Uh, uh, because, you know, she, <laughs> she puts in some money in there. So those who put in money, they are told, I'm mentoring you and stuff. So she, she was given a microphone. And because now, she, you know, there was nothing to, 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 you know, too heavy to speak. She just said, no, um, if there's, there's someone who's, that God is blessing, you know, take money, just take a seat, come and so connect with the altar. And that was it, you know. So, yeah, I see somebody says, Naomi, they will milk her. Oh, yes, definitely. Because she's part of the lie, so sorry, because she's not part of the lie of these prophecies and these setups and staging of prophecies and miracles and stuff. They will never open up to her to say, we are teaching you that this is how we do things. And then the rest of them, your Bishop TK, your Bishop Stephanie, your Bishop uh, uh, Shepard and all those guys, they don't put any money in the church. You know, they just needed... For the, I'm sure they just put in their tights, you know, they offer their tights, then they pledge here and there when they have small, small, you know. So they are, they are kept in a way that uh, uh, just to keep the image of the church, just to keep the image of the church, to keep the image of the church. So that is, that is how it is, you know, that is how it is. So coming back to the reality of the, coming back to the Elliot story. So the reason why I'm showing you all these videos is, is just to show you that uh, this man had done everything he could do. He had prayed for people who were sick. He had prophesied that people died, people, uh, people you know, he had prophesied everything. Okay. Yeah. He had prophesied everything. Everything that he could prophesy, uh, he had said it. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to get something here. So he had, he, had, he, had, he had done all the miracles you can think of. He had uh, uh, raised people from the wheelchairs. He had prophesied names. He had prophesied everything. He had, uh, he had done everything, whatever you can think of. He had done it, you know. Because this is a competition. This, this, this is like a competition between uh, Pretoria. Uh, this is a competition between uh, Pretoria, between Pretoria, Bushiri, and then... A, a, a Auf Lukau, you know, it's a competition, it's a South African competition. So now th this one did miracle of fire. Then this one said, no, I'll find something and then I'll do something bigger. He went and he did Pamela White. Then this one went and he did another miracle of, uh, you know, that wind. And then this one came and he said, I'll look for a miracle to outshine and outsmart that miracle. So when he finally decided uh, to resurrect Elliot, it was a way of saying, I want to be the best of the best and outsmart everybody. It's actually, it actually surprises me and shocks me because the first time I went to him, the first time I went to him, he knew I was coming from uh, Uberenjo. I was coming from Uberenjo and uh, he knew that uh, Bushiri was my brother. You know, he was my spiritual brother back then. He knew. So he brought me very closer, you know, you, to say... So I would say, no, you know, Papa, you know, we, this is what we used to do. I don't like it. 
uh, you know, I want to serve God. And then we say, no, son, you are serving God. Let's serve God in purity, you know, and everything. So I thought I, I, have, I have found a true man of God who was really leading me in the, in the path of righteousness, in the path of salvation, in the path of Christ and everything. That is why my pause, if you check back to 2018 and, and so forth, uh, 29, uh, so 2018, 2017, after I met him, I started saying, I've met a man who have grounded me in Christ. It was all because of that, you see. So slowly but surely, you know, uh, you know, you would say, you would sit in his office, you know, to check his, his YouTube subscription in his office. He would check his, 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 his YouTube subscription and say, son, come and see. You see, now a, I'm, I have more subscribers than Bushiri. I have more subscribers than TB Joshua. I'm the supreme a prophet. I carry the supreme anointing. <laughs> this is not a lie. You know, this is the truth. So he had done everything. So he wanted to outsmart TB Joshua outsmart, I see somebody says, will they not sue you? Ah, well, I don't care. Let them send whatever that they're going to send. Let them sue me uh, for whatever that they, that they want to sue me for. One thing that I know is that if they sue me, they're suing me for the truth. They're not suing me for lies. That is why I'm as bold as I am right now, you know? So, yeah, he would, he, so you call me and say, no, you know, yeah, well, this is our subscription and everything. So the subscription rose to a place where he now saw himself as a supreme, you know, supreme prophet because they say he's got a supreme anointing. Then Ben, Pastor Ben, Pastor Ben used to be on Facebook. He used to be on Instagram. He, he disappeared after the, the, resurre uh, the resurrection uh, thing. He disappeared on Instagram. He disappeared on Facebook. Uh, Brenda disappeared on Instagram, disappeared on Facebook. Uh, sorry, disappeared on Facebook. Now she's struggling there in Zimbabwe because they told her, she received a call from Zimbabwe and they told her that, listen, now that the whole resurrection thing has gone this way, if we ever hear that you have said anything about the resurrection thing, we are going to kill you. There are so many people who have been threatened about the same thing. So, when they finally came up with the strategy of saying, let's resurrect Elliot, it was to try and outsmart every prophet under the sun. But it didn't work well. It backfired. Let me take you through this video. It backfired. It backfired. It did not work the way it was supposed to work. This is a video that I came across um, of an interview that was done. An interview that was done by... Um, by Brother Charles. Uh, just after the resurrection, a uh, stunt was performed. He went, he interviewed the funeral parlors that were involved, the first parlor, the second parlor, and the third parlor, and the interview was there online. So this is what the lawyer had to say. I, I want to take you bit by bit. I want to take you bit by bit, you know, so that you understand. Yes, to Mr. Africa. Uh, what we can say is there is um, people that approached us under the auspices of a grieving family um, who came here to hire specifically a haze for the purposes of transporting a dead person who was apparently lying in another funeral parlor. But that funeral parlor, when we were told, was that he did not have enough or adequate transport uh, services. Which funeral parlor is that? They say it's Black Phoenix. Black Phoenix? Yeah. Phoenix. In Johannesburg? In Johannesburg, yes. Okay. So they say they've got a contract with Black Phoenix okay. and that um, their loved one is lying there. Okay. So, but Black, Black Phoenix, apparently, when they sold the stone to us, they said they didn't have enough transport. To that would help with ferrying the people and the body. So they decided to approach us for the purposes of just providing transport. So of which we did then um, contract them for that purpose and we gave them our heads for the purposes of transporting their loved one who was lying in another funeral okay. mm -hmm. um Was the heads driven by your driver? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and what's his name, please? Uh, I don't, I'm not privy to his details at the moment. Like I'm saying, I'm a lawyer and I don't deal with these things on a daily basis. Mine was just being appointed to handle the, the, the fracas and the nightmare that was here. But I can exclusively reveal to you that it was one of our drivers who went with the highs. So as the story unfolded is that um, when they left here, 
instead of okay. home, because one of the <clears throat> private cars with the stickers of black film. So, so this this video right here, this is an interview that was done by uh, uh, Brother Charles last year in May, sorry, April, I think. No, in February, on the twenty fifth of February, uh, just after the the resurrection had happened. So let me let me let me explain. So the the resurrection was planned to outsmart every miracle that you have ever seen in your life. It was planned to outsmart everybody in the whole world. Okay? And they planned it together. It was, uh, you know, uh, uh, Pastor Alf and Ben. Ben is the one who, stayed, uh, who ran away and he went to Congo. Okay? He ran away, he went to Congo. So, after the miracle was done, he ran away, he left, he went to Congo, and now he's nowhere to be found. He is nowhere to be found now, so... The previous day of the miracle, the resurrection was going to happen tomorrow. The previous day, Brenda, uh, 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 everybody who was involved in the planning, Brenda, uh, Ben, and uh, all the other people were involved in the planning of that miracle. They were at the church the previous night of the day, trying to plan and see how everything was going to happen and everything, you know, trying to make sure that uh, this is during the night, during the night, not during the day. Late, late, late at night, because I think uh, at that time there was an IVP that was going on. So, uh, yeah, the thing was planned. The coffin was bought. The coffin was bought. Uh, the money was given to the people. Uh, then these people, apparently, who had a deceased uh, a, a person, were given money by Ben, and the money came from. Uh, 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 the money came from uh, 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 from the finance. The money came from the finance, and the lady who was uh, responsible for the finance in the finance department also left the church. Who happens to be the sister of the pastor in question? Left the church soon after the resurrection miracle. She is not there in the church. I don't know whether she went to Congo. I don't have any information about her. So this is what happened. After everything was done. Uh, the following day was going to be the fateful day when the miracle was going to take place. Every, everyone was, you know. So even when, if you watch the video of that day, apparently I think they have taken it down. They've even taken down the video uh, of, of the very day when Elliot was resurrected. They pulled it down from the internet. Why would you pull down a video? Uh, why would you pull down a, 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 a whole video? Why would you pull down a whole video? Uh, simply because there's a miracle that everyone is saying is fake. If it's real, then keep the video. Let everybody watch it. Let people do their analysis and everything, you see. So now, this is what took place uh, the following day. The following day was going to be the day that uh, the miracle was going to be done. <laughs> the following day was going to be the day that the day was going to be done. Powerful Sunday service. On that day, I was at uh, I was in Zimbabwe. I was at I was in Zimbabwe at uh, Victoria Falls um, Airport, getting ready to catch a flight uh, to get into Namibia. I got a call. I got a WhatsApp message on my phone, and somebody says, "Go right now, check what your father has done." I quickly logged onto Facebook, and then I I didn't see anything. Then I asked him, "What are you talking about?" He said, "Go and check the pictures. See what your father has done." So I went again and I checked. Hey, I'm seeing there's a, a coffin in the church. There's a coffin in the church. There's a man who's been resurrected here. What is going on? So I quickly, uh, I was trying to call the guys from church to say, guys, please. Uh, I was trying to call the guys from, from there, from the Jobek church. I couldn't get any of them because I wanted to say, guys, please, if there's any way that you can make sure that uh, you cut out that video, don't release those pictures, please do it. Otherwise, uh, this is going to be trouble. This is going to be trouble. Unfortunately, I couldn't get anybody. Uh, got into the flight. I went, uh, I landed in Namibia. When I landed in Namibia, I was with a guy from Zimbabwe, a, a son of uh, Apostle Lillian Branya. I saw that she's watching right now. Uh, that's a biological son. I traveled with him to Namibia. They detained us at the Namibian airport for close to an hour or so. You know, because apparently when we arrived at the airport, uh, the resurrection thing was all over and they 
recognized my face. They recognized my face and uh, some people came, Oh, Prophet, Prophet, how are you? Oh, what, what, what? But then some people said, No, that's Prophet, what? So Namibia doesn't play with Prophets. They, once they hear Prophet, they don't joke with you. They don't play around with you. They detained us there up until uh, they cleared us. After an hour, we went to the hotel. The following day, it was war. War on social media, war everywhere. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat because the attacks were coming left, right and center. People from my church were asking me, was the miracle true? Was the miracle real? 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 I see somebody was saying, um, Fantas John, we need two sides of the story, not one commentator with no evidence to back it. Listen, uh, what I'm saying right here, Facebook is not a platform for me uh, to come and say, and then this is a picture of uh, so-and-so. This is what I have. I'm keeping it for the right time. I'm keeping it for the right time. I'm keeping it because I cannot be coming on online like this. Uh, blabbing and blabbing about things that I don't know. Blabbing and talking about and talking nonsense about things that I don't understand and things that I don't know. So you who's coming here and talking about your evidence, go get your evidence uh, 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 somewhere else, not here. You see, because... I'm helping people. I'm helping people. I'm helping people to understand and to realize that time to play church is over. Time to play church is over. Time to play church has come to an end. That is what. Uh, that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Not to come and prove myself right. You know, believe what you want to believe. Believe me if you want to. Do not believe me if you do not want to. Okay. So believe your belief, doubt your doubt, but the truth remains and the truth has no feelings. The truth, nobody can uh, contest against the truth, you see. So, yeah. And then uh, 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 you, you, you realize that uh, it was at that time when, uh, you know, internet was buzzing, internet was, 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 was crazy, everybody was talking about this thing. So I quickly had to come back from, um, I quickly had to come back from uh, uh, Namibia, flew back into uh, South Africa. When I got back to South Africa, I didn't take time, I went straight to Johannesburg. When I got to Johannesburg, when I got to Johannesburg, uh, I went to his house, I went to his house in Santin. And then he called me, they said, hey, son, this is bad. What are we going to do? Then I said, mm, let me think. Let me think of something that can happen. Let me think of something that, that we can do. So afterwards, you know, afterwards, uh, I went to my hotel. I was, sorry, I went to my apartment in Santin. I, I was there. And then uh, I got a call from one of my uh, 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 brothers and friends. And he said to me, I call him Elder. He said, hey, my prof. Listen, man, I know the owner of the funeral parlor. Uh, let's, let's see what we can say. Really? He said, yeah. Then I said, listen, give me the number. Let me call the owner of the parlor. You know, let me call. So I called him and I said, listen, I've managed to get hold of the owner of the parlor. Then he said, go ahead. Call the owner of the parlor. If it is, if it is possible that we can get the owner of the parlor, let, the, uh, let us get them to be on our side. The reason why I played all the videos that I played in the beginning, I played all those videos to show someone that uh, this thing of Elliot was not something new. The thing of Elliot was not something uh, 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 that was an upgrade. The Elliot resurrection was an upgrade to everything that had been happening there for a very long time. You see? Yeah. So you realize that, um, uh, 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 oh Lord, Jesus. So if a man is capable of Faking all those prophecies, you know, in church, coming out to fake and he's even feeling the anointing and doing this and lifting his hands. What can stop him from faking a, 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 a resurrection? What? What can stop him? Nothing, you see. So I called him. I said, this is what I found. And then he said, call. So I called the owner of the parlor. I called the owner of the parlor. And uh, after I called the owner of the parlor, he said to me, I'm going to get back to you. And then I called him again. I said, please, let's meet up. He was refusing. I called him again. He said, no, 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 uh, let's meet in court. I tried again. I called my friend. I said, listen, then I, I went to, then we met to, uh, we, were, we went to uh, Santin at, 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 at his house again. We sat at his house. Then he said, listen, offer them whatever that we can offer them. 
If they need money, let's offer them money. Then I called Elder. I said, Elder, how much do they want? You know, so that they can just uh, silence this whole story. You know, they can just uh, withdraw the court case that they've opened against us and stuff like that. Elder tried what he tried. Oh, up to no luck. The guy, the parlor guy, nothing happened. Up until he, he, he said to me, ah, no, son, you know what? Let's just leave it like that. Um, let's leave it like that. Let's allow the lawyers to take care of this issue. Let's allow the lawyers to take care of the matter. Let's leave it as it is. The, the lawyers are going to handle it. So apparently, the lawyers were going back and forth, you know, trying to come up. So if you watch a video where, where, where he went into church, where he went into church, uh, sorry, uh, if you watch the video when Elliot was brought to the, to the church, his mouth was opened. This man uh, comes and he says, uh, what happened to him? This is the landlord. This is the, uh, that, that is proof. That is proof. That is proper evidence, you know, uh, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the uh, 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 CRL, to the CRL who are trying to find what is going on to the hawks who are investigating this matter, to the police who were investigating this issue. Find the, the find the, the uh, what do you call it? Find the, the, the landlord. Find the brother, the one who said I'm the brother, because he's not the brother. The, the brother has got a South African accent. Elliot is from Zimbabwe. Elliot is from Zimbabwe. So find the brother, find the wife, the lady who was claiming to be, to be the wife. That's not the wife. Elliot is not married. And that was his second time to be in church. The first time he went to AMI to go and fake a miracle of sitting on a wheelchair, that was the first time he went to church. After he faked the miracle of a wheelchair, they called him again. Apparently, he was too good. So they called him again. And then after they called him, they said, now let's, let's go big, you know. The same night of the resurrection miracle, after Elliot was resurrected. Now, let's, let's look at this. Let's look at facts. We, we, we don't want to be beating about the bushes and everything. And listen, I'll, make, I'll do everything possible, you know, everything that I have in my position, in my position, in my, uh, 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 in my cloud, everything that I've kept in my cloud, all the conversations that I've kept in my cloud everywhere, uh, 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 in my phone and stuff. I'll make sure that that information is used, is used to make sure that a, a, a justice is found and justice is served on this matter. I know that they are not going to spare me. They are not going to spare me uh, uh, for what I'm doing, but I don't care because this is the truth and this is the reality. Bishop Jackie was holding a microphone. The lady, the colored lady, the bishop was holding a microphone and she was outside. Pastor Alf, there is a miracle that has happened. And then he acted as if he doesn't know what's happening. He said, what's happening there? There's something is going on. So he went outside, you know, he's acting as if he doesn't know. Listen, to all the pastors who are watching me now, all the pastors and the prophets and the apostles who are watching me right now, if you have ever prayed for a person who's on a wheelchair, and who's on a clash, and it's not a fake miracle, and it's a real miracle, a real proper miracle. If you have ever prayed, you do not go with such confidence. I'm telling you. You don't go with such confidence. If you know that this is going to be a real miracle, you don't go with such confidence. You humble yourself before God because you know that it is not going to be in your power, but it's going to be in the power of God. Look at the confidence that he had when he was walking there. He gets there. He said, who came? Who's this? Uh, what happened? Then he said, oh, he's breathing. Then he says, uh, who came? You are the wife. You are the landlord. You are the this. You are the that. Okay. You don't come with such confidence. You don't come with such confidence uh, uh, to come and perform a miracle that you know that uh, 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 you, you, you don't have any hand on it. He came with so much confidence. And as he was there, as he was there, he starts uh, praying and touching the man. He started doing this. Why are the police and why are the hawks not asking him, if you say you did not have a hand on the miracle, what were you doing when you were doing this, when you're doing your hands like this? Because he says that uh, he was set up and they are alleging that I'm the one who set them up. They are alleging that I'm the one who set them up for that miracle. They circulated that message in their church, apparently, you know. 
They, 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 they circulated the thing in their church and they said, J. Israel is the one who set up and then when he set up, he wanted to bring down Pastor Alf. So if he is a true man of God, why did he not prophesy that J. Israel is setting him up? That's number one. Why did you not prophesy that J. Israel is the one who's setting him up? Why did you do this if he's a man of God? Watch the video very well. He did this, and he did this on the video. He did this, and then he touched the man. And then when he touched the man, that's a dramatic, a, a, that's a very dramatic thing that was done. A drama, you know, a dramatization of everything just to try and uh, show people that power is coming out. Okay? Power is coming out. So if you say it was not a miracle, you did not perform a miracle, what were you doing when you were doing all that? Do you understand? So all the true men of God who are watching me right now, if you have ever prayed for anybody, even if somebody told you that I've got fibroids or I've got a headache, you don't go with confidence because you, you don't know whether God will heal the person or not. You don't know whether a miracle will happen or not because the, it's not in your hands. It's not in your hands. You are not the one who is healing, but God is the one who is healing. So look at the, 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 you know, the whole scenario. Then he touched the man. Then Elliot you know, rose up. His mouth opened and he's looking like this. You know? He's looking around. The last time I saw a funeral where a kick was felt... The last time I saw a funeral where a kick was felt from the coffin, just a kick, not even to say somebody was resurrected, just a kick to say there was a small kick that, uh, that was felt from the coffin, a small kick, just a go, go, at the funeral. Everybody ran away. Everybody ran away. As soon as Elliot stood up, nobody ran. Everybody was there. Even the wife did not run. The one who was claiming to be the wife, she started crying because it was part of the script. As soon as Elliot was resurrected, the wife must cry, the landlord must cry, the brother must cry. But those were the only ones who were crying. <laughs> you see? Those were the only ones who were crying. So you realize that there was a fake miracle. And I'm going to mention some stuff right here. I'm going to mention some stuff right here because... Uh, 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 uh. I want you to know, I want you to know that uh, 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 this is the truth. This is the truth. And I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to, to, to destroy somebody. I'm not trying to destroy a person. You know, I'm not trying to destroy or go against somebody. I'm not. I'm not. You see? So look at this. Then they took the man. Then he called uh, the general, the one who wears the marine suits all the time. He said, come, come around. So if you look at everything, when he was praying there, as soon as Elliot rose up, the cameraman was focusing on Elliot. And then he pointed at the cameraman and then he said, Shh, record, he, he said this. According to me, because I'm a pastor, I understand the language. He's saying, stop focusing on the, stop recording Elliot. People have seen Elliot. Record the wife who's crying so that it can look believable. <laughs> Then after that, he, he pointed again to, 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 you know, to the landlord. He record the landlord so that it can look believable. Because it will not look believable if uh, Elliot rises and the wife doesn't cry. You know? It won't look believable if Elliot rises and the ones who came with Elliot are not crying. It won't look believable. So he's saying, if you look there on the camera, he, he did this almost twice, you know, trying to direct the guys to say, hey, 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 guys, you are messing up my, you're messing up my movie here. You know? You're messing up my movie. <laughs> and he didn't want them to mess up the movie production. So they took Elliot into the church. They took Elliot into the church. They walked him nicely into the church and he's walking as if he can't walk. That time the man can't wait to go and sit down and have his plate of rice, you know. They took him in. The next thing, everybody is dancing with him. I mean, guys, oh no, man. All those people who are in that church, all the pastors who are sons, all the women who are daughters, where is your discernment? All those who are shouting and screaming and praying and ululating and do, where is your discernment? Me personally, when I heard that Elliot has been resurrected, I did not even celebrate or think twice. You know, I, I just said to myself, we are finished. That's what I said to myself. I called my brother in, immediately. I called my brother. The one uh, that uh, they, have, they have sent uh, my, my picture and his picture to some hitmen in Jobek to come after us. I sent a, 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 a message to my brother and I said to my brother, look at what has happened. My brother said, you are finished. I told you a long time ago that you must leave this man. 
but I don't know what you are still doing with this man. Look at what has happened. You will never, ever recover from this, you know? So people were screaming, people were crying, people were celebrating, people were, you know, everyone was jumping up and down. It's, oh, Lord, it's the, oh, God is good. Oh, we thank God. Oh, this is a true miracle. Oh, this is a real miracle. Oh, you know, the pastors were crying. I have a brother. I have a brother who was uh, there on that day. He called me and he was in tears. And this is a man who, who says he's a prophet. I asked myself, you are a prophet? And you are crying and you are in tears because you saw a miracle. Where is your discernment? Hmm? Where is your discernment? All those who are attending this church, where is your discernment? This is, this is, how, this, is how this place operates. This is not a church. It's not a church. This is a business center. This is not a church. It is a business center. So when you are going to this place, you are going to a business center. You are not going there for prayers. You are not going there. You are just, so when you get there, you are actually not a son or a daughter, but you are a client. And your clientele is determined. Uh, 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 and the level of, 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 of your clientele there, of you being a client, is determined by the amount of money that you place on the altar. So if you place small money, then you are a client who's far. If you put big money, you come closer, you know. That is why the whole fr front row. You don't sit on that, fly on that front seat there if you are broke. <laughs> Never. You don't sit on that front row. Where's us? We used to sit. You know, I used to sit there. <laughs> In as much as I did not have the, you know, the, 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 I, did not, I was not putting money on anything, but because of my mind. The man knew that my level of intelligence is, is on another level. That is why he brought me very close. He brought me too close to him because he knew that this young man is brilliant, is intelligent. I was, I was not a slow learner. So he brought me very close. So I want everybody to know this. After the whole uh, uh, resurrection thing was done, Elliot is now in the church. People are dancing with Elliot. Elliot is eating rice. Okay? Where is the rice coming from? Where is the rice coming from? Where is the rice coming from? Who cooked the rice? Oh, Jesus. Let me just fix my, my phone a little bit here before, uh, before I can run out of battery. <laughs> yeah, before I finish this, this broadcast. I don't want this broadcast to be interrupted. Okay. Right, so I hope you can see me well. Okay. So, so, so where is your discernment? Everyone who's still a member, everyone who's still going there, all those who are busy coming online saying, oh no, the man of God, my father, this, you know. Where is your discernment? Where is your spirit of discernment? Where is your discernment? D did you not see for yourself that th th there's something wrong with uh, what is happening here? So I want to mention a few things right now. I want to mention a few things right now. I've been getting calls from newspapers. I've, be, I've been getting calls from uh, uh, different people. And I, I just want to put it on record that uh, what I'm doing right here, what I'm doing right now, what I'm doing right now is something that is going to put me in a lot of trouble. But I'm ready for the trouble, you know, because I know that I'm speaking the truth. CRL. This is where you come in. The CRL, this is where they come in. When the whole thing was going on and everything was happening, the CRL promised that they're going to summon the man and they're going to sit him down and ask him questions. Up to now, those questions have not yet been asked. A lot of pastors were speaking against uh, this thing, but one thing about South Africa is that something will just, uh, you know, it's like a, a, a paper fire. It will just, boo, then the next thing is gone. But I would like the CRL to revisit this matter. I would like the CRL to revisit this matter. And all those who are involved in the investigations of this issue, I want them to revisit this case. I'm ready to be a witness because already I am a witness, you know. And, and, and I'm ready to stand on any platform to speak the truth of what exactly happened with uh, regards to this uh, uh, resurrection thing. Number one, they must look for Ben. He ran away from social media. They must find that guy. 
They must find him in Congo. They must find him in DRC. Ben, Ben Mwepu, he's, he was a pastor. I've never seen him preaching, but they were saying he's a pastor. They must find that guy. You know, they must find that guy. He is the guy who facilitated the whole resurrection thing. He is the guy who paid Elliot. He is the guy who took care of Elliot. They must look for that guy and they must find that guy. Now, let's say Elliot died. They must find that same guy. Together with Pastor Alf, they know what happened to Elliot. They are responsible for whatever that happened to Elliot. Elliot, if Elliot is alive, I don't want to speak things that are going to incriminate me and that are going to uh, implicate me tomorrow, but I want to put it in this way. If Elliot is alive, if Elliot, uh, uh, in fact, let me say, if Elliot died, a proper investigation must be done. Who is the family member of Elliot? Is, do they really have any a, 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 a proper uh, legal relationship to whoever is claiming to be the family member of Elliot? These are things that must be done. These are, this is information that must be, you know, at the end of the day, even if nobody gets arrested, because I know they'll say, no, it's not a criminal offense. Uh, what, what, even if nobody gets arrested, even if nobody gets arrested, but listen to me and listen to me well. Even if nobody gets arrested, at the end of the day, you must know the truth. And the truth is that the miracle was fake. That's number one. And that's not the only miracle that was performed that was fake. There's a lot of them that were performed that were fake. The truth of the matter is that whatever happened to Elliot, it must be traced back to the church. Because there is no way you can resurrect a man today. All the newspapers are looking for him and they can't find him. The police are looking for him. They can't find him. Where did they hide Elliot after service? Where did they put him? Those are questions that must be asked. Those are questions that must be asked. Those are questions that must be asked. I see somebody says, you said Elliot is alive in your previous uh, broadcast. Uh, don't, I'm, I'm not twisting and turning. I'm not twisting and turning. I don't want to speak things uh, that are going to implicate me tomorrow. But the honest truth is that uh, 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 according to my own understanding and my own thinking as I'm sitting here, Elliot is alive. I'm not, running, I'm, I'm not running away from that. Elliot is alive. The reason why I'm saying all these investigations must be done, they must be done to find out where is Elliot? What happened to him? Where did they hide him? How did they smuggle Elliot out of the country? If he is in the country, where are they keeping him? Elliot is not his real name, by the way. Elliot is not his real name. That's not his real name. So these are the questions that must be asked. These are the things, these are the facts that we must face. I see somebody thinks I'm running. I'm not running away. You know, Elliot is alive and Elliot must be found. Elliot is alive and he must be found. Let's say you meet uh, Lukau uh, face to face. Are you going to say this to him? Oh, well, why, I mean, why would I be afraid of saying this face to face to him? Is he an animal? He's not an animal. He's a human being. He's a human being. He's not an animal. I'll definitely say it to his face. I'll definitely say it to his face. Without fear, without trembling, without any favor or anything. I'll say it. So these are questions that we are supposed to ask. These are the questions that we are supposed to be asked. That we are supposed to be asking. If Elliot is dead, okay, let's say he died. Okay, let's say he died. Where is his death uh, certificate? Where is his death certificate? Where was he buried? Was his death certificate published in any uh, uh, newspaper article? Was his death certificate uh, uh, given to anybody? Where was he buried? After he died, who made a follow-up to know where exactly Elliot is? Who made a follow-up after he died? Who made a follow-up after he died? Who made a follow-up? After he died, who made a follow-up? These are questions that must be asked. These are questions that we are supposed to ask. These are questions that we are supposed to be asking. Other than flip-flopping, running up and down and looking for things, 
These are proper questions we are supposed to be asking. Because like I said, I told you in the past, and I'll repeat it again today, you know, I was given money, and that money was given to me by a guy from Emma. His name is Didier. Yeah, his name is Didier. Didier is the one who brought money. We were at the house in Santin, and they sent him to go and take uh, money from the car. The money was in a silver, uh, it was in a silver uh, 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 gift bag. The money that was inside there. About 150,000 rands and about between five to 8,000 US dollars. That was given to me. It was given to me to say, make sure that you go to Zimbabwe right now. Go and make sure that whatever that has to do with Elliot, whatever that involves Elliot, uh, anything, anything, just do anything you can do. Jay, I trust you. Go to Zimbabwe. Whatever you find, find it. Whatever you can do, just go and do it. You know, in terms of the media and in terms of covering stuff and uh, hiding everything in terms of media, because everything is all about media. You see, it's all about media. So this is what happened. The first question that we have to ask is why was I given that money if the miracle was a true miracle? Now we have concluded. Now we have concluded. Now we have concluded that the miracle was fake. Now we have to know what happened to Elliot. Elliot cannot be the most wanted man in the whole world to come and testify and just say, I was paid so that uh, 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 this man can be busted. Before Elliot is found, before Elliot is found, before Elliot testifies, we will hear that Elliot has died. Is that a coincidence? Is that a coincidence? Because the first time he went to act in this church, he was in a wheelchair. Then the second time he went back, he was in a coffin. So why would he die after a miracle that has gone viral? Why didn't he die the first time he was in a wheelchair? I want you to know this. I want you to know this right now, wherever you are. Elliot is alive. And Elliot must be found. He must be found. He must be found. A proper investigations must be put in place so that Elliot can be found. If he is really dead, maybe I'm wrong. If he is really dead and Elliot is really, really dead, these are the things that we are supposed to know. Where is his death certificate? Who was the mother? Who was the family? Where did they, uh, who did they talk to? Who interviewed them? How did they die? I mean, how did they, uh, uh, how did, uh, 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 how did they uh, uh, take it as a family? These are questions that we are supposed to be asking. Other than beating about the bushes and everything. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If Elliot was resurrected and he was healed, how come he never testified afterwards? How come they never uh, published the video? Because they recorded a video of him. They went back to church after the resurrection stand. They went back, and then when they went back after the resurrection stand, uh, this is what happened. They shot a video, and when they shot the video, they wanted to use the video as damage control, just in case the miracle goes out of, uh, uh, out of hand and out of control. Now listen to the man when he gets to the service uh, uh, on a Friday, after the whole week of people going back and forth and talking, uh, listen to what he says uh, when he gets to the church. He says, Elliot was breathing in the coffin. Already you are saying it was fake. You are saying it was a fake miracle. You are, you, are, you are admitting that the miracle was fake. He says Elliot was already breathing. And he just prayed for Elliot to have strength. What kind of nonsense is that? Why would you pray for somebody? If somebody needs strength, they must bring him in a wheelchair. They must not bring him in a coffin. Why this kind of drama? So this is the reality of the story. This is the reality of the story. Proper investigations must be put in place. Elliot must be found. Whatever that I have in my possession, all the charts that I have in my possession, 
all the conversations that I did with the funeral parlor, trying to uh, 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 sweet talk the funeral parlor, talking to the other guy again to say, please, uh, we, we can pay money so just to silence, you know, uh, uh, uh. and who was doing this? He is the one, the man, he's the one who was saying, Jay, go and make sure whatever money that uh, they want us to pay, we can pay it. Whatever amount that they want us to put down, we can put it down just for them, you know, to withdraw this, in, uh, this thing, just for them to draw back a bit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, 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 already we have um, we have concluded that the, 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 that the miracle was fake. And now the question that follows is that if you are still part of this church, what are you? What, 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 I, I don't understand. What is going on in your mind? How can somebody be in a mortuary from Friday, Saturday, and then on Sunday he is sweating? His body is not even cold, but he was kept in a mortuary from Friday. How can somebody who was kept in a mortuary from Friday be sweating? Elliot is alive, and Elliot must be found. 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 So me being uh, given the money that I was given... To say, go and do, uh, uh, pay the whatever the media. Just make sure that you cover up this thing. You know, let it don't let it blow over and stuff. You know, uh, 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 uh. I, I realized that you know what <laughs> I, I was used. I was used uh, 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 in this whole process. I was used in this whole process, and I'm also a victim as well in the whole process of this uh, uh, resurrection uh, 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 thing. Why would I be given money to go and pay a, a, a media houses to cover up a, a miracle that really took place and the miracle was true? And the miracle was true. And the miracle was true. The, if the miracle was correct. Now, let, let me give you a, 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 a something else to, you know, something else to take home with, you know. Something, uh, 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 something else that, that you can take home with tonight. As I'm concluding this broadcast, Elliot is alive and Elliot must be found. If Elliot is dead, let's just say if Elliot is dead, okay? If Elliot is dead and if Elliot is really, really dead, then the death certificate must be found. The grave number where he was buried must be found. Those who were available at his funeral must be found. His funeral was conducted before lockdown. And the fact that his funeral was conducted before lockdown and before coronavirus came, it simply means that the funeral, definitely there were people who attended the funeral. There were people who were part of the funeral. There were people who attended the funeral. There were people who were there at the funeral. How come they did not take pictures because of how the thing went viral? How come they never took pictures to say we are attending a, a funeral, a, 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 a Elliot's funeral? How come all that never happened? So I'm calling upon the CRL. I'm calling upon the SAPS. I'm calling upon everybody, you know, I'm calling, yes, somebody says you were outsmarted, you were used, I was used. It's, it, 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 it's only dawning on me now that I was used because he knew my influence in the media. He knew the influence that I have in the media. He knew the kind of influence that I still have even up to now in the media. You know, that is why he used me to try and cover up his things. He used me to try and cover up his tracks and to try and cover up everything. And because me, I, I was a, a very... A, a, you know, I'm, I'm loyal, you know, I'm 100% I'm, I'm loyal. You see? I'm 100% loyal. I took the money, I ran, took, talked, spoke to this one, spoke to this one, please, you know, you know, publish this, publish, do this here, do this and stuff, you know. So after everything is said and done, after everything is said and done, I'm calling upon the CRL to make a proper investigation. On that particular day, there were security guards who were on duty. There were security guards who were on duty. And guess what? When I was watching the interview that was done uh, by Charles, uh, the interview, in that interview, the lawyer mentioned something and the lawyer said, when they got to the church, they made some calls using the driver's phone. And these people who were making calls using the driver's phone were the people who were bringing Elliot to church. And then afterwards, the phone of that driver went missing. Why? Because they didn't want anything to trace back to them. 
because they took the phone. They took the phone and then a, a case of theft was, op uh, 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 was, was actually opened. They took the phone because they knew that now that uh, uh, our people have made a mistake and they have made a call, you know, now that our people have made a mistake and they've, and they've used the, the driver's phone to make a phone call, now they're going to find the number, then it will trace back to them. So everything was done, you know. So everything was done. Everything was done in such a way that uh, the phone had to go missing so that the phone is not found. Cool. Because once the phone is found, once the phone is found, they'll be able to uh, 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 <laughs> they'll be able to find uh, 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 who really made that phone call and what connection does he have with Elliot and stuff like that. So this is the truth. This is the truth. I'm calling upon the CRL. They must do a proper investigation to this matter. They must uh, uh, do a proper probe into this matter and to, 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 to summarize everything and to bring clarity and everything to, the, to, to, uh, to this whole matter. There were security guards. There were security guards. There were security guards who were on duty. They must be brought in for questioning. They must be questioned what happened. There were media guys who interviewed the Elliot a, 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 a crew after the service around 11 midnight, around 11 p.m. at night. They must be brought in for questioning as well so that they are asked where is Elliot and what happened to Elliot. This is the truth and the truth must prevail. So I want you to know that at the end of the day, after everything is said and done, after everything is said and done, nobody might get arrested. He might not get arrested because he probably has all the money to pay uh, whoever, that, uh, whoever that will try to arrest him. He might not get arrested. His team might not get arrested. You know, uh, uh, he might have already done whatever that needs to be done already, knowing very, uh, for a fact that I'm coming for him and I'm coming this way and I'm speaking things like this, you know. At the end of the day, souls must be delivered and souls must be set free everybody who's part of this church this is the truth that you must know you are in a business center that's a business center that's not a church that's a business center a lot of people were attacking me and saying things and stuff but i want you to know that after this you begin to see articles online you see people coming up and saying things against me coming to speak this one will say this this one will say that why because they they are, they've been trying to come and, and and find me they've been trying to come and find me they've been trying to come and uh, 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 take my life to come and kill me but they are failing they are failing They've hired people there in Johannesburg to, to, to hunt me down and to find me and kill me and, and make sure that I'm, 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 you know, I'm gone. I disappear just the same way that all the other people have disappeared in the past. And because they can't, they can't find me and they can't get me in that regard, now they are going to use different avenues. Now they are going to use different avenues. They are going to try to... Uh, 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 set me up for things they'll frame me for things so 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 yeah but i want them to know that i'm ready i'm ready for them I, i'm seeing this comment for the second time somebody says i told you he paid crl over 15 million runs to silence uh, the case this is a comment i'm seeing i'm not the one this is not information from me but i'm calling upon the crl to say let there be a proper investigation to this matter because it cannot just die like that it cannot just die like that and all the souls who are being uh, 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 and all the souls who are being kept uh, under uh, in that place uh, 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 all the women uh, in, in in my next broadcast probably not in my next broadcast i'll give it some time maybe uh, uh, tomorrow i'll be i'll be preaching tomorrow we are, we are we are getting back to our normal preaching sunday i'm preaching probably some time next week i'll be coming out again to speak about the women that are being abused, the women that are being raped in this uh, uh, in this in in, in these uh, prophetic uh, business centers, the women that are being raped, the women that are being uh, uh, abused. Some of them have come to me. Some of them have reached out to me, and they are not willing uh, uh, to speak out simply because they are afraid that they were threatened. 
So I'm engaging a lot of other people. I'm bringing in uh, a lot of other people. We're working with the Girl Child Network. We are working with the, uh, uh, different, different other people to make sure that these girls are kept safe. As soon as uh, 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 they come out and they start speaking, we are making sure that these girls are safe and these girls are kept safe in a very safe place so that nothing happens to them because they've been uh, uh, threatened to say, if you ever speak about this, you know, you're going to die. Some of them have been given money to keep quiet, but, uh, you know, uh, nothing is going to happen to them. God is going to protect them in Jesus' mighty name. So I want you to know, I want you to know that uh, this is the truth of the of the matter and then uh, 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 uh yeah the women were being abused the women were being raped the women uh, uh, who have been raped uh, uh, sexually i'm talking about sexual harassment sexual abuse and stuff like that you know uh we i have a, 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 all these people we have reached out and in the next uh, uh, broadcast not in the next one but in my next broadcast we will be addressing these things I'm going to be calling them on the phone and uh, I want everybody to hear for themselves what they are going through, what they went through, how they cannot speak because they've been uh, 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 and for the sake of their, uh, for their protection and everything, you know. Mm. For the sake of their protection and everything. Uh, 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 so I know that God is going to protect them and uh, the Lord is going to be with them. You see, so... The Lord bless everybody who was watching. The Lord bless everyone who was part of this um, a broadcast tonight. I want you to know that uh, it's not over until God says it's over. Uh, it's not over until God says it's over. It's not over until God says it is finished. So I want you to know that even uh, there are South African pastors, there are pastors in South Africa, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cleaning moment. It's a moment of cleansing. The South African pastors who have come to me at some point uh, 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 seeking to be helped for their churches to grow and stuff like that. Some, I told them what, uh, uh, the, the, I told them the, 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 the procedure they have to follow and they were prepared to follow the procedure. Some of them I did some spiritual directions for them during that time uh, for their churches. Some of them I helped them uh, in different ways. And I want them to, I want you to know, I see, I saw them, they were coming out, guns blazing against me, attacking me and everything. I want them to know that I'm not going to spare anybody. Some of them were my friends. Some of them were acquainted to me. Some of them were close to me. And, uh, uh, but I saw them coming, guns blazing, speaking against me and saying all sorts of nonsense, saying that uh, this is what uh, J. Israel is doing. This is what is doing. And all those who have been doing live broadcasts, since uh, 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 the beginning of the uh, since the beginning of the year there are people who were doing live broadcasts coming you know doing their live broadcasts attacking me yet they know very well that we have been acquainted at some point we have been together at some point we have done things together at some point i've got nothing to hide i've got nothing to hide i've got nothing to fear and all of you who've been attacking me have got things to hide you have got skeletons in your in your in your shelves so you better start repenting before i start coming after you my response to all your live broadcasts that you did i'm telling you that it's not going to be as nice as the live broadcasts that all of you did when you were attacking me and calling me names so yeah my response is coming to all the pastors who did live broadcasts and they were attacking me uh, knowing very well that at some point they were uh, together with me, they were my accomplices. We are acquainted together. I want you to know that I'm coming. I'm coming for you. And uh, people will know the truth. And the truth will set them free. And the, 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 the body of Christ will be cleansed. And the truth of the gospel shall be preached. And everybody will know that surely, surely, there is a God in heaven. With, with that being said, with that being said, I'm not afraid of anybody. I do not fear nothing. I do not fear nobody. I do not fear anything. You cannot kill a dead man. I'm a dead man alive. You can't kill a dead man. I'm a dead man alive. So it will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. Mm. Please give us clarity about means Tancredi if he's part of a cult because there are pictures circulating. Well, a son of a snake is a snake. A son of a lion is a lion. Son of a jackal is a jackal. Son of a false prophet is a false prophet. A son of a, uh, a, a fake prophet is a fake prophet. A son of a fake pastor is a fake pastor. A son of a thief is a thief, you know. 
uh, there is no way that uh, you can give birth not to your own kind. You can only give birth to your kind. So check who are they acquainted to. Who do they call their fathers? Whatever that the fathers are doing, they are doing the exact same thing. I don't want to speak about uh, 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 other people here. I don't want to speak about people and, and stuff, you know, people that I've, I've not had any encounters with. But I'm just saying that uh, just do the maths. One plus one is equals to two. If you add one is equals to three, you add two is equals to five, and then you get your answer. So, yeah. Anyway, the Lord bless everyone who's watching. The Lord bless all of you. So, my response is coming. My response is coming to everybody who was doing live broadcasts and all those pastors who have been prophesying that I'm going to die. Yet, at some point, they were acquainted with me. They were coming to me. All those pastors who have been coming up, guns blazing, speaking nonsense against me. I want you to know that it's not yet over until God says it's over. After 2020, church will never be the same again. Church will never be the same again. There will be no more gimmicks in the church. There will be no more scams in the church. There will be no more uh, 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 uh. all this uh, faking of miracles, faking of prophecies. All these things will come to an end. After 2020, there will be a new church that God uh, th that is going to rise. There's going to be there's going to be a new church that is going to rise. So, I want you to know that uh, all these things are coming to an end. All these uh, lies that are being spoken from the altar, they are coming to an end. All these things that are, you know, happening behind the scenes and whatnot, they are coming to an end. After 2020, after this era, if it means that I have to lose my life for the sake of opening the eyes of the people of God, I'm ready to die for that cause and I'm ready to lose my life for that cause. Uh, I do not care and I do not worry because you cannot kill a dead man. Already inside, I'm dead. I'm a dead man alive. I'm dead in Christ. Uh, I do not have a life because the life I had, I gave it to Christ. So anyway, let us true. Let us see what is going to happen. May God bless you all and may God be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So to everybody who's asking questions about different pastors, check who they call their spiritual father. Whatever their spiritual fathers are doing, some of these boys, they just went to some fathers just to go and hide. For example, a, 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 I was talking to a certain brother of mine and he was saying to me, um, you know, so what do you think about Pastor Chris? And then I said, you know what? I don't want to say anything about Pastor Chris because I've never met him. I've never sat down with him. I don't want to lie against a man. I don't know. I don't want to speak against somebody that I don't know. But my only worry and my only question that I have when it comes to Pastor Chris is how did Pastor Chris accept prophet Hubert Angel to be his spiritual son? That is question number one. Number two, how did Pastor Chris get to a point of even taking a picture and having a meeting with Prophet Bushiri? Yet we all know what Bushiri is up to. Yet we all know what Prophet Angel is up to. How did Pastor Chris, in his office of being a man of God and everything, how did he accept? What is this one doing there? So you realize that uh, before you want to talk about anything, before at times you just need to do your meds, you know? Because this is a man uh, 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 who's asking for things, you know, from people and stuff like that and doing a whole lot of things. And then he goes to a man like Pastor Chris and then he starts saying, I'm now close to Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris is my father. Pastor Chris is this. This me and Pastor Chris, we are close. How did Pastor Chris manage to associate himself with such a man like this one? <laughs> with such a man like this one, how did he uh, 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 associate himself so at times, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, but I'm just saying that, that that's, a, that's a question. That's a question that everybody has to ask. If everybody who's watching me now, you've been asking me questions. What do you think about Pastor Chris? What do you think? I don't want to say anything because I don't know him. I've never met him. I don't even follow his ministry. I don't follow his messages. But the question is this. How did he become a son of a man like Pastor Chris? And Pastor Chris took him very close you know, very, very close to be a, a, as close as he is now where, you know, uh, he's even wishing him happy birthday online. You know, such things, you know, these, these are things that bring a, a questions, you know, to certain uh, figures, you know. These are things that bring questions a, 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 to certain figures and to certain people. So I want you to know that this is the reality of the, of the story, you know. 
This is the reality of the story. Just so you, you know, for interest's sake, to all those who are coming out and speaking nonsense and we are saying, no, you left angel, you went to Alf, and then you are always moving from one spiritual father to the other. Go and ask you, Angel, that question. He left a Kusi Boateng. Now he is with a, 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 a Pastor Chris. When he left a, a, a Prophet Victor Kusi Boateng, nobody said nothing because it was being done by their favorite. Mm. It, uh, 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 because it was it, it, it was being done by their favorite, none of them spoke. But when I left him to go to Alf, everybody was speaking, everybody was saying this, everybody was talking against me, everybody was rising up against me. But when it was my turn, when it was when it was my turn, everybody spoke. But when it was his turn, he just left a he just left a, what do you call it? He just left a prophet Kusi Boateng. He started saying, my father is Pastor Chris. Nobody said nothing. So, you know, some of these things, you must always uh, question yourself. I was talking to a brother. I'm sure he's watching right now. I was talking to a brother. He's an apostle uh, sometime this morning. We're having a conversation of this sort again. The same conversation I had with another gentleman yesterday. He, I was saying to him, you know what, my brother? This era that we are in is an era of seeking God personally. Seek God at a personal level. Your personal level. I see somebody says, how did you get close to Alf? I got close to Alf because I had, a, I had a, a criminal mindset, a criminal mentality. I was very, I was streetwise. I was street sharp. I was streetwise. That is why I got very close to him. And he wanted to, you know, to be using me for, 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 for a lot of things. That is how I got very close to him. Us in Zimbabwe, we know how to get close to pastors. So don't ask me that question. All the Zimbabweans, all the Zimbabweans know how to get close to pastors. Get any Zimbabwean guy now, you will find him sitting in places that you never, ever uh, suspect. So I'm not saying anything about Pastor Chris. I don't want to speak against uh, somebody I don't know, somebody I've never met, you know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking about the one I know. I'm speaking about the one that I know right now. And I know even there, because of the things I've been saying about them as well, they are also busy planning and plotting. They are using fake accounts to send messages to people, uh, trying to, you know, to say things, to send things to the media and, to, you know, it, it's fine. You know, they can bring it on. I'm ready for that. Anyway, so, yeah, that, that was an answer to, 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 to those questions. So I was saying to this brother of mine, this era that we are in is, a, is an era of seeking God for yourself at a personal level. Time, it, 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 it's time up. It's time up for you to be going to a man of God. No, Papa this, Papa that. Because you go to Papa this, Papa that. And then the next thing you realize that, uh, you know, uh, you've been disappointed. You know, <laughs> what you thought it was, it is not what it really is. You see, so I'm not doing this for myself because I'm not getting... Mm, I'm not doing this for myself because I'm not getting anything out of this i'm not getting any money out of this i'm not getting but the only thing that i'm doing is to say at the end of the day my conscience is clear i'm not even if i have to die tomorrow i'm not going to die with anything in my heart heavy that i've not done that i've kept in my heart for so long i've emptied myself on the on the on the on the on on, on my uh, platforms i've spoken about everything that I've, I've done everything i've been involved in i've spoken about everything that i'm not proud of and i've i've, I've mentioned everything so uh, right now i'm an open book and um, yeah i see somebody saying is j israel your real name say that's a that's a newcomer i guess uh, can somebody answer that newcomer for me can somebody answer that newcomer for me there who's saying, is Jay Israel your real name? Yeah, so, so there, there's a lot. These charlatans are a lot. Yeah, these charlatans are a lot. And they are here in South Africa, you know. These charlatans are a lot. But I'm telling you that by the special grace of God, by the special grace of God, after lockdown, church will never be the same again. Church will never be the same again. So God bless you. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen i love you all with the love of god and let's meet tomorrow tomorrow i'll be live on my official facebook page we are having our official sunday uh, official friday service in the name of jesus so let's meet tomorrow in jesus mighty name amen with that being said i want you to know stay away from charlatans stay away from jackals stay away from foxes stay away from thieves stay away from robbers all these prophets 
who are masquerading as prophets who can perform great miracles. They are a, 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 a jackals, charlatans, and all those names. That is what they are. So God bless you. Stay away from them and know that the Lord is with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.